Welcome everyone. Today is a sales video. I'm going to be selling you something. So if this is your very first time watching me, I recommend you skip this video and go check out some of my playlist videos, some of the pregame work on say the Blasi banking concept or infinite banking, cash flow management, debt elimination strategies, or maybe you want to take a look at some of my case study videos using a personal line of credit, HELOC, credit card, whichever it may be. I recommend go view that, see how I operate, see my work before getting sold into this program that I'm going to be sharing with you right now. For those of you that have been subscribed for a while or you're possibly an existing client, either you uh, paid for maybe a one hour session with me in the past, maybe two, bought one of my courses, maybe you're on a subscription plan, whatever it may be, this program is going to be the next stage for you and this is likely going to be very very attractive for that person that has been watching me for a while you've been getting results you've been following the the formulas the strategies the concept and you've literally changed your financial paradigm mindset you've paid off a ton of debt so you, we've built a level of trust already so this program is just going to take it to the next level so let's dive right into it so this is the financial freedom program that i am launching in 2024 this is an invite only meaning you are not able to just buy it right off of my website in the past people were able to just hire me for one-on-one -on -one coaching or my programs that were like lifetime so now it's going to invite only where i can really curate qualify people before enrolling this is going to dramatically reduce the the chances of you failing because oftentimes on the internet we get sold into things that we're just simply not ready for we don't have the mindset for or we simply don't have the financial means and so what happens is you'll go and borrow and you're sort of betting on this person the guru me that they're going to change your life and you not realizing it's actually all on you right we're the facilitators we're we're the servant but you're the king in this example you're the queen in this example i'm the servant so it's not the other way around right so it's very very important to be aware of that i have had clients that just simply don't succeed no matter how much money they pay right i've had clients that invest in programs double triple quadruple what i charge and they're still not succeeding financially maybe their mindset improved no you know won't argue that or their their paradigm shifted but they're not seeing that financial success that they planned for right because there, there's a difference between achieving financial success in 10 years right that makes sense versus your expectation of achieving financial success within six months to 12 months with that program that you just signed up for and you're getting all excited about and then 90 days into it you're like i think i got scammed or this wasn't for me or yes denzel i jumped the gun whatever it may be so when it comes to my programs my stuff i'm constantly improving constantly getting better so going into 2024 this is going to be invite only which basically means you, you, you need to already know me, right? We're going to have a conversation, maybe two. You're going to send me your numbers in advance. I'm going to make sure when I look at your finances, I'm going to step in your shoes and know that I can afford this program. It's not going to set me back by any means. This is merely an investment into my future, and, I'm, and I have a long-term mindset, right? This program, as you already seen on the whiteboard, the, the layout here, the first thing is this is a 10 year commitment. Okay. It's a 10 year commitment to becoming financially successful, becoming financially free, breaking free of all your money trauma, right? Breaking free from all the chains, from all the stuff that you went through growing up, being 50, 55 years old now, your whole life has been in debt, and you are finally going to make that change. Well, guess what? If you've been in debt the past 40 years of your life, or if you've been in low income, middle class, the majority of your life, it, the chances of it just changing overnight. And even if you were successful overnight, and when I say overnight, I'm talking like say a year, two years, you're making all this money. The likelihood of you keeping that is a whole nother battle, right? So it's not just making the money. It's all about keeping and stewarding that money and having the proper systems and protocols in place so that you don't lose your kingdom that that you build in this process with me so there's just going to be a lot of guardrails in place and upfront commitments coming into this covenant agreement this promise 
that we're going to work together. We're going to achieve this goal together, right? So 10 year minimum commitment. This is the program layout for you and me as well. So 10 year commitment, six months worth of expenses you need to have, you need to be able to prove that screenshot, here are my six months worth of expenses, whether that's in cash, whether that's in gold, silver, whether that's in a cash value life insurance policy, like as long as you have six months liquid finances that can cover expenses upwards of six months or longer, then that's gonna be a, a pre-qualifier. Your willingness to commit the next 10 years to me, right? To us, to we, to the end result, that's a pre-qualifier. You need to be coachable and accountable. What does that simply mean, okay? What this means is we're gonna start off, usually most people start off great. We book calls on a monthly basis, there's high communication, and then all of a sudden a financial crisis hits six months later, 12 months into it, or you decide to not follow or listen to Denzel's guidance and then you decide to go buy that car that you wanted, that Tesla, or you decide to buy some other guru's program on crypto trading and investing and then there's a lack of communication for six months. Then you come back to me in month 12 and you're worse off than when we first started and now you're coming to me wanting me to you know, do magic, right? And make something happen. And that's just not the case. So we're going to avoid that upfront by me evaluating you, making sure that you're coachable and accountable. And it's so easy to spot. So easy. Now, granted, this is going to be more of a problem for you men listening, right? Understand I'm 28 years old. So you're probably looking at me and you're like, this kid could probably doesn't even know how to wash himself yet. Right. And I totally get that, right? Because you're 55, you know it all, you're middle class, you've got your 401k, your IRA, your pension plan, your, your paycheck coming in, and you know it all. So if that's you, trust me, I am not for you. Please don't even try to attempt to buy this, right? Because you're, you're not going to fully experience the transformation that's going to occur in your life. Again, that's if you know it all. I usually don't have this problem with women. For the majority of the moms that I work with, you are already submissive. You're already yielding to the authority in the room. And that is the best position one can be when they're a student, is in a yielding, submissive position to the authority in the room. And there's no problem with being curious, asking questions, debate, dialogue. I welcome that. So. When it comes to our conversations and I say something and you don't agree with it or you're like, can you clarify that? Can we run that again? I'm not understanding. Denzel, I've been listening to these three gurus and they're not saying what you're saying. I, I'm leaning more towards this. and We can have that dialogue and figure out why that is, where you're coming from so that I can fully understand you. But I'm never going to be like, no, you have to listen to me. I'm the coach and you have to do what I say. That's not, the, that's not what coaching is. That's not what accountability is, right? Coaching and accountability is, is conversation, consistent conversation and communication with both parties where we're in alignment with every financial decision that we make. And we're, we're running those financial decisions through a process that we both develop together so that there's no confusion, right? For example... Let's say you do want to invest in that Bitcoin trading investment course and it's $25,000, right? And let's say in our process, we develop where any type of investment that's above $5,000, you must have spouse or partner involved in that decision, number one. You must inform them what you're about to do or what you're interested in getting involved into. Two, you must jump on a call with Denzel and discuss it with partner and spouse. So it's a three-way conversation now, preferably via Zoom or over the phone, where we're gonna walk through the investment, okay? Three, we're going to evaluate the investment costs and any other additional fees that may come with that investment, okay? Four, you have Denzel do additional market research on that guru to ensure that they are not a scammer, right? They are not abusing you, taking advantage, or just selling you into a program. So. I'm gonna go through it as well, do market research, possibly get on a call with that guru because I might have some pull being a content creator. I might be able to get a hold of that individual and have a you know conversation or two. So we go through that whole entire process. 
we run the numbers, making sure that when you pay the 25 grand, do we still have six months worth of expenses? If this investment doesn't work out, what happens then? Spouse, are you okay with losing $25,000 in your household economy today? If wife says no, husband says yes, and then say I'm the, the deal breaker, the, the vote either or, right? And I could I can say lean towards husband where I can say wife, we, we have cash value built up here. We have this savings. We have this, this, and this. If this goes wrong, yes, this sets us back here, but not to the point of financial destruction. This just simply might sting for the moment, but I don't think this is gonna put us in a financial catastrophe, right? We go through that entire process and you make that investment, and it doesn't work out well we all were on the same page we all thought it would work out we all thought this would be a, a game changer and it, and it turned not to be the case right then we're all on the same page we're not attacking each other we're not mad at each other we're not no longer communicating okay versus the other way you watch three videos on youtube you go into somebody's funnel they sell you nlp right sales you know tactics and, and a sense of urgency twenty five thousand now if you invest, we take five grand off, so it's $20,000. You don't talk to spouse, you don't talk to me, you pay the 20 grand, then you hop on a call with me. Spouse is pissed off at you now. I'm not up, I'm not happy, because I'm like, dude, you're messing up the plan. You said you wanna pay off debt, now you're buying Bitcoin 20 grand because it had a, a, a pop up. Don't you realize it's a pump and dump, anyways, right? So, like, let's not do that, right? So, coaching and accountable, I'm gonna be able to spot that early on. Next thing is consistent monthly communication. We will be talking every month in the beginning and then it'll space out, right? But initially it's every month combined with, you know, communication, email, that sort of thing. P&L statements. You are going to produce a profit and loss statement. It literally takes you less than 10 minutes to do a P&L statement of your household economy. Most of you that are going to be enrolling in this program are not business owners or you desire to, but you don't have the business idea or the business yet. And so you're, you're employed, maybe self-employed, but you're employed you have a career, you have a job, you have income, you have all this debt. Those are the type of people you're between the ages of 40, 55 years old, maybe 30 and up. And, you know, husband, wife, single mom, single dad. Those are the people I'm typically attracting and serving. And so we're going to do a P&L statement as if you had a business. We're going to treat your household economy like a business. So every single month you're going to produce a P&L statement, which just simply means that you're going to log into your checking account and you're going to filter debits and credits. And you're going to see how much came in and how much came out, right? And you're just going to log those two numbers. We're going to have a financial spreadsheet together that's live, that's shared, preferably like Google Sheets or Google Docs, something like that. And we're going to have a column where it's like January's P&L, income in, income out, cash flow. February, come in and come out, cash flow. That P&L will probably get produced at the end of the month, at the end of every month or the beginning of every month. It's gonna be one of the two depending on how you get paid, right? So that is um, critical. Then again, we're gonna have a shared financial spreadsheet. So no more emailing back and forth. Here's my new spreadsheet, here's my new this. It's gonna be one financial spreadsheet that we upload preferably to Google or maybe um, uh, what's the other one? one something i forgot what microsoft it's i forget what it is it's like the blue one for the for the email but essentially it's going to be a link you share that link with me you upload the financial spreadsheet in there and it's going to be live so that means at two o'clock in the morning i can go and look at it and see what you got going on any time of the day and i'll have that logged on my end so I'm not scrambling looking for spreadsheets or in the event you didn't do your spreadsheet, at least we have something that we can go off of and then we can update it on the call right then and there, right? So from call to call, we're gonna be you know constantly changing the numbers. And then um, we'll also figure out whether there might be a case where like, hey Denzel, I have this platform that I use, right? There's a lot of FinTech uh, platforms coming out. There's a lot of different things coming out that are going to make a record keeping of finances even easier than just having a Excel doc that, that you share. So whichever work, I know for the majority of my seniors in the room, the, my older crowd that, you know, FinTech, you're like, what the heck is that? Or, you know, the apps don't really work for you, but a Excel spreadsheet works perfectly fine for you. That's great. We're just going to upload that into your email where it can be a shared doc and it's live so every time I, i'll log in there i can make changes you can make changes on a weekly monthly daily basis and by the time we're on a phone call together it'll be active right last but not least spouse partner 
must be involved. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, in a nutshell, I, Denzel Napoleon Rodriguez, I'm not competing with who you go to bed with at night. I am not going to compete with your partner. So what that means is, let's say I'm working with husband. Husband buys a cash value life insurance policy. He starts funding that for many years. All of a sudden, there's a financial crisis and wife says, cancel the policy. Absolutely not. We're not doing that. We're not playing that game any longer. I'm not playing that. I'm not putting myself in that situation no more because wife simply doesn't know the value of life insurance because I've been spending all the time with husband on those phone calls. So by having partner and spouse involved, you need to make sure that you show her these videos, that she's watching these videos or that he's watching these videos before you buy my program. Not only am I getting on a call with you, but I'm also getting on a call with spouse. The three of us are getting on a call together. And if we have to do a Zoom as well to make sure I'm real, you're real, we're cool, we're on the same page, that's important. I cannot have spouse um, combating me or disagreeing with the plans that we already put in place. I have no problem with a disagreement before something happens. My problem is you invested in that Bitcoin ATM machine. You invested in this you know, real estate opportunity. You bought this cash value life insurance policy behind spouse back. I'm thinking you communicated with her because I said, is she on board? And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is, again, usually a man thing we forget. I forget, too, to tell my fiance things. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, we're, uh, I'm doing the pressure cleaning on the top of the roof. Oh, yeah, that, um, you know, ADT is coming in and they're going to do this. And, you know, no communication. So trust me, I, I do it, too, sometimes. So I'm letting you know I know, right, what's going on in, in, in the house because I'm experiencing it as well. And I've experienced many other clients go through it. And it is not fun. It's not fun for me to have to sell myself to your spouse. It's not fun because you are fully bought in because you spent all that time. So I'm not saying that wife or husband needs to watch equal the amount of videos that you watch, but they do need to watch some just so they know who they're dealing with. And they need to be on some of the phone calls, right? If it's all of them, wonderful. But I totally understand if, you know, husband's more available in the morning wife's work or husband's working wife's home, right? So wife's more available, totally get it. But as long as they are involved in the decision-making process, especially when it comes to investments or purchases that are made during this process, especially if you go and get a HELOC on your property without informing spouse, because maybe she's not even on the, on the deed on the, on the property, because maybe you're not married yet, right? So there's, there's a lot that, that goes into it. So these are all the prerequisites. It's a program layout. Again, we would have a phone call, maybe one, maybe two, uh, possibly a Zoom call as well. So make sure I'm real, you're real, we're on the same page. And then here's what's covered in the program. All debt elimination strategies. Every single debt elimina elimination strategy on the internet, I am well versed in, I'm familiar with, I know the math, I know the concept, I know the thinking behind it. I've been doing it um, multiple years now with clients. So all of it is covered, which is unique because I'm not going to be one way is the only way. I'm going to evaluate all the options. We're going to run the numbers and you're going to make the best decision in terms of what works for you. We're going to have credit discussion, right? What does that mean? Okay. I'm not repairing your credit. We're simply talking about your credit. We're analyzing them. We're gonna go in and look for opportunities if need be in terms of credit repair, if that is the case. Or it might just be a discussion of how we're gonna leverage credit to do a particular uh, task. You're gonna have lifetime access to me, my courses, everything that I produce lifetime access, right? So there's you know group coaching, one-to-one, -one, workshops, all of it. You never have to spend another dime with me after you invest in this financial freedom program. In addition, there's a beneficiary program. Okay. So for example, let's say I'm dealing with a husband and wife and three kids. Okay. Husband and wife are obviously on board. So you guys are a team. You're one. We're on the same page. If anything were to happen to, let's just say in this example, husband and wife, and I'm dealing with wife, typically it's wife that found the YouTube channel. Spouse is involved, but it's typically wife that I'm doing majority of the phone calls with. And then husband maybe is in the background or every now and then he's on those phone calls but he's in the picture, he knows what's going on, and he's in full alignment and agreement with the decisions that wife and, and I, we make together. She then relays that message to husband, lets him know what's going on, and then if, if there's clarification, there's that clarification call. But let's say something happens to wife. Wife graduates earth, she's no longer with us. So now it passes on to husband. So now husband is now taking over, and now we're gonna work together 
he is now the person that I talk to each and every phone call because wife has now graduated earth, no longer with us. Let's say husband, you know, 30, 40 years from now passes away, right? Because this is a lifetime service, this would pass on to the kids. Now, one of those kids is probably going to be the leader of the pack. That's usually how it is. There's always that one kid that, you know, follows in suits that it becomes the succession of the of the family. Maybe the others dip off, do their own thing. But one of those children, right, you will select as the beneficiary. You know, you can do all three, obviously, however many kids you have. But essentially, your it goes one generation down. So you're immediately your immediate bloodline, your heirs will not have to pay me a dime for me to continue serving your household, right? Again, I'm 28 years old. So majority of my clients are 50 and up. There is a high likely chance that many of my clients today will pass away before me. They'll graduate earth before me. And many of my clients today have children that are near my age, older than me, or they're early teens, right? So when they become an adult, all the work that we've done together, you're going to be slowly transitioning and passing that information to them. But you're also letting them know, hey, hey, son, hey, daughter, if anything happens to daddy, if anything happens to mommy, your first phone call in, you know, as it relates to money, finances, your first phone call is this person right here. This is El Rodriguez. This is his email. This is a phone number. You're going to have that somewhere with all your documents, your will, your estate, your trust. You're going to have it written in plain language. Your first phone call is Denzel, right? For the kids to understand, okay, that's who my dad, my mom was was working with. So chances are he's gonna know so much of of about the finances than than I do, right? So it's gonna make that mourning process much simpler uh, on the on the financial side. You can just focus on mourning, right? And then recovering and healing rather than dealing with financial burdens and financial stress that comes with that comes with death, right? So we're trying to mitigate that. So that's the beneficiary program. I'll have that documented in my note, right? In my program layout, I'll have where it says, you know, beneficiary is dot, dot, dot. And it'll have their email and their phone number. If they're a teen, obviously, or a child and they don't have a phone, that's totally fine. It's just going to be their first and last name. And then as they get older, you give them an email, whatever it is, phone. Right now, these eight-year-olds have iPhone. So I, I don't need their number now. I would just need some way of communication if anything happens to mom or dad, right? So whether that's a, an uncle's email or we, we'll figure out those details out. In addition, case study planning. Recording is optional, meaning we're going to have sessions, right? Maybe once a year, maybe twice. It's usually once a year is usually the rhythm and we take it to the whiteboard. So it'll be a Zoom meeting. You'll be on, you'll be on Zoom. You'll see my camera layout and I'm going to have all your numbers on the whiteboard and we're going to map everything out. It's going to be a blueprint. It's going to be documented. Send it to you. You'll have it. Usually that gets posted on my channel, but it's going to be completely anonymous. They won't know your name. You won't be on camera or anything like that. So that's complete privacy unless you want to be on camera, unless you want to be heard in your name, that's totally fine. But there's still that privacy because no one really knows where you're at or whatever. I'm not, you know, giving away details in terms of addresses and stuff. So case, st case study planning, that's, you know, consistent, right? That's just as needed. Hey, Denzel, I'd like to do a whiteboard session. Typically a whiteboard session occurs after we've had like three to four phone calls, right? Once we've had the, the framework laid out, everything is, is crystal clear, then I just simply take everything we discussed and I just put it on the whiteboard. So now you have a visual on top of the audio, what we, what we discussed, right? <clears throat> um, more than likely within that 10 year time frame, we're going to, we're going to meet in person. So I'll schedule a, a meet in person, a mastermind where we spend multiple hours together in person. This is just a unique thing, opportunity that I've seen happen with many of my clients, every single person I've ever met in person. And we spend multiple hours, we break bread, we pray, we discuss just normal conversations, everyday life, wife, spouse, kids, da, 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 right? There is a bond that we now form that goes beyond the, 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 the camera, right? The fact that you get to touch, feel, hug, right? There's a, a strong bond that, that occurs. And that's very, very important in terms of fellowship, in terms of worship, in terms of ministry, in terms of contribution, philanthropic work that we may do that, again, goes beyond financial freedom itself. That's just the initial, you know, financial freedom 
to me is, is literally just one third of the full picture. One third of the full picture. The other two parts is your health and your faith, right? And just overall living a masterful life, right? A life worth living. Like, so finances is literally only one third of the full picture. But in your world currently, that's like the main thing because it's taking up everything. So the goal is for money to not take over our life. We become a master over money, not it over us. We control money, not money controls us. We control the financial decisions that, that we make, not money controls the financial decisions that we make, right? which is that language shift is important, extremely important. So meeting in person, this won't be of, of no cost to you other than say, for example, we're going to like a business mastermind together, right? Or we're traveling to a different state. Maybe I come to your state, you come to my state. So other than travel, you know, expenses, it's not going to cost you anything to be in, you know, a room with me where we, you know, we have lunch, breakfast, dinner, whatever it may be, come to the house, who knows, right? So that's not going to be an additional like upsell. That's, that's covered in the initial investment. And then overall, accountability partner, okay? It's not going to cost you anything additional. Just keep working with me one to one, right? Now we come over to the second column here, which is the additional work. And I did put money signs here because this is just what it is. Like it's going to cost more money outside of my program to achieve financial freedom in your life. So for example, there's going to be investments that, that you make. So that's just boom, that's dollars that will go out. So that's additional work. But again, we would have conversations and accountability and coaching over that investment. So I'm never going to tell you what to invest in. I'm never going to sell you into one, talk you out of one. Everything's going to be conversation based. Everything's going to be running things through a protocol, through a process, through a system, right? Having our templates, making sure that we went through the process. We've asked the questions before we move forward in that investment. And then boom, you make the investment. Chances are you mitigate the risk of loss when you do that. We're fully informed, fully educated. So investment, uh, life insurance, okay? Yes, I'm a licensed agent, but you may not decide to work with me directly. And honestly, in my position, just so you know, like I have a, I have a license to sell life insurance, but I almost, I almost never sell life insurance solo, right? So what that basically means is like I have people that I've partnered with and collaborated with, for example, Steve Parisi over at IBC Global or Caleb with Better Wealth the end asset, right? So you might be talking to Caleb because you may have found him before me and then you join my program. So maybe that is your, you know, Caleb's team. Someone on there is your agent, right? Then you bring me in to the conversation and there could be like a, a split there. That's totally fine, right? Or you initially enroll in my program. You understand I'm a licensed agent. When we get to that point, you're like, Hey, I want to, you know, implement some life insurance on my life. I'm wife, kids, right? The whole nine. Chances are I'm, I'm never working solo. So I'm going to bring in an agent, right? So I'm going to have my recommendation, but again, I'm also going to give you that opportunity, of course, to say, Oh no, I was, I'm actually, uh, already in discussion. Or I, I found James Nethery's channel, or I found the money advantage, or I found Garrett Gunderson, his team, um, or Caleb and his team or whomever, right? How, however, it ends up working. I'm still going to be brought in on that conversation because I'm your accountability partner. We're going to make sure that we're doing all the things that need to be done. And then now I have a relationship with that agent. And then maybe there's a split that occurs because essentially we're now doing business together. We're now bringing in a second influence into your financial decision-making process. So that's going to be another thing. Anyone we bring on your financial team, it's going to be important that I also communicate with them that, you know, we're on the same page so that we're not combating each other on different ideas, that it's always a dialogue. It's always a conversation. At the end of the day, it's your decision because we developed that decision-making process when it comes to finances. Okay. Extremely important. Then there's tax planning. That's a huge part of creating financial freedom is reducing tax liability. So you have more of the money left over to steward and do the things that you want to be able to do. So tax planning, legacy planning, estate planning, that's, you know, afterlife and while living business startup. Most people, again, don't have a business that I work with or you desire to have one one day and I can help you in that startup phase. Ministry planning. Many of you do have faith. Many of you that I work with that our clients do have faith. And so there's a ministry aspect component where it's like, Denzel, all I want to do is create enough lifetime income to be able to retire. And then I want to go work full-time ministry from age 59 all the way till 
God calls me home, right? And so maybe at that ministry, at that church, maybe they only pay you $45,000 a year, 50 grand, but we have 10,000 a month coming in guaranteed lifetime income for life, right? So that completely more than covers your cost of living and then anything you make from the ministry is gravy adding, it's additional giving that you're able to do, right? So it's extremely important, so we would discuss that as well. Ministry planning and then succession planning. Who will come after you? Is it gonna be a, a, an heir? Is it going to be a, a nephew, a brother, a sister, right? Who comes next, right? And then that person, right? Either they enroll in the program and we keep it going. So we keep your legacy. Because again, I'm 28 years old. Majority of my clients are much older than me. So I'm, I'm thinking about that gap where 40 years from now, you may not be here, but I'm only 68 40 years from now. You might be 98, 88, right? And so I still have another 30 years, say, you know, God gives me the health. If I'm in my 60s and then you graduate earth and i know who your succession is i now can work with them and can you imagine the amount of service that they would the wisdom that they would receive when i'm 60 right and then they're older and it's just gonna i'll probably have a massive team by then who knows right they're, they're just gonna have a system a protocol in place where we can essentially do what the rockefellers have done generation after generation after generation after generation the wealth keeps compounding it doesn't dissipate doesn't go away like the vanderbilt okay no we want to be we want to operate like rothschilds like rockefellers like chase like fargo like you know all these different major institutions and banks that have been in business for either hundreds of years right or multiple generations, like like the Walmart family, right? Um, so powerful stuff there that we can do. We just need to have the proper planning in place to make it happen. So that's all additional work that we would again do together, but it's going to have more cost because you know life insurance costs money, investments cost money, tax planning, got our CPA, right? Bookkeeper, you know, accountant, all that costs money lawyers doctors right business coaching all that costs money so the offer is you have two options either one-time payment of 39.97 or you pay 375 a month for 12 months either or okay so that'll total out to forty five hundred dollars or again the one-time payment of 39.97 okay this offer is is only going to be for a limited period of time i i may uh close it out mid august september i haven't decided yet again this is invite only because i am recognizing that my presence has been growing more on on youtube so in order for me to truly do this kind of work and this kind of dedication i can only accept a, a essentially a limited amount of people so i want to make sure i'm working with the right people that god has called me to serve which is why i'm now taking this all these precautions these you know pre-qualifiers in play right again this is super inexpensive i did a i did a video talking about this program asking you what you would pay for this many of you rounded around ten thousand dollars the lowest was five grand and this was in a live stream with a room about i want to say 50 plus people in the room and the lowest number someone said was five thousand dollars and then i think they took it back and then they bumped it to ten right so the lowest number being 5,000, many of you said 10,000, some of you said 15 to 20,000 is what you would pay for this kind of service, one-to-one. -one. So this is the price right now, 39.97 or 375 a month for 12 months, which totals up to 4,500. This is the current pricing now. This may change depending on how many people enroll, right? This will probably change somewhere towards the end of 2024 or around the third quarter of 2024. We'll, we'll see. But I can assure you that once I've done this for an entire year, that going into 2025, it will be a higher price. So it'll increase from there because, again, I'm going to be improving. I'm going to be, you know, doing much better processes and increasing the speed and efficiency of this overall so that's the current pricing right now again you're, you're not able to just click a link and and buy it you would need to uh, join my email list right to get on my my email list or you just email me directly denzel at builder to contributor.com that'll come up on the screen and just email me directly tag this video say I want to move forward with this program. I have the means. I meet I meet your standards. I'm willing to do this. 
we're still gonna jump on a call, probably a Zoom or just a regular phone call, 20, 30 minutes, right? To make sure we're on the same page that even when crisis hits, even when things don't go our way, uh, when there's a down season, you're not quitting on me, I'm not quitting on you, there's still gonna be consistent communication, okay? Because the chance of that happening is very real. Think about it, you've been in debt your whole entire life, okay? And to think that there's not gonna be any problems because we decided to change our mindset is you being naive, okay? Life's gonna happen, crisis is gonna hit, which is why it's a 10 year commitment. We need to allow that time to truly grow, heal from all our money traumas and experience. That's gonna be a whole nother you know, value add on is you know, I'm bringing a majority of the logic, but now over the years, I've been studying on emotional intelligence and really how to have these personal money conversations that break through the trauma that you've been holding on your chest. It's been weighing you down. It's been causing other health problems, right? And if we can figure out unique strategies to overcome that and address, hey, when you were six years old, this happened. Hey, when you were 15, hey, your mom only said you'd ever do this or dad always you know, was never impressed. So you're always seeking for approval, which is why you're always, you know, going to the high-end shopping malls and stores and you're buying things that don't exactly bring you fulfillment, but it impresses other people. And then that brings you joy. And so we need to, we need to rewire how we create joy and fulfillment and peace in our life, not temporary pleasures that result in lifelong, essentially suffering and pain, right? Disguised with joy, okay? So we get to have those discussions together. That's a whole nother value add that people will pay tens of thousands of dollars for just for that, okay? And be getting it through this system here. So again, recap, take a look at the board, everything, take your notes. Again, you email me directly, Denzel at builder to contributor.com. Join my email list. This is again, invite only. So you wanna be invited, you reach out to me, to me directly, say, hey, I'm very interested in this, and then boom, I will send you a link, we'll jump on a call, you'll send me your numbers in advance so that I can see, yes, this person can afford this, yes, this is not gonna put you in a bind, and we move forward from there, right? Now, again, this is a, a channel that talks about leveraging debt, so I'm not against you leveraging a 0% credit card with cashback rewards and points and miles and all that to you know pay for something like this. I don't mind that. I just want to ensure that we, we can pay cash for it and it not affect us. So as long as I see that, where it's like, oh, I, I can pay cash for that, but I'm choosing to, you know, use a credit card where I'm gonna get 3% cash back and now you know the price of it is less and statement credit, and miles, points, all that good stuff. You know me, we're on the same page, I'm cool with that. I don't want you putting it on a six month PayPal plan and then you're going to make payments to it and then it's not gonna get paid off and now you're paying 29% interest. No, 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 I need to make sure you have the cash to, to buy that, right? But you're more than happy to use your line of credit, credit card, whatever it may be to fund that and then you know we'll pay that off relatively fast. As long as we're clear on that, you're clear on the program layout, the pre-qualifiers, the commitment, what's covered, what's not, this is the Financial Freedom Program 2024 with your very own personal finance geek of the 21st century. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, it's been a pleasure. Look forward to talking to you soon, have a wonderful day. God bless, bye now.